next video we are going to go over how to create histograms in SAS and the basic coding that does that is proc univariate data and that will be equal to whatever a data set is and inside of this we would use histogram of whatever the variable is that we want to plot the histogram of and then of course run so for example using this word data set here that we have preloaded into SAS why don't we do a histogram of the low lead level group so based upon what I want to do this will be proc univariate data is equal to work dot lead and we're going to do a histogram low lead level and then run so let me just quickly type this inside of SAS So once we put this into SAS, you would hit run, and I spelled the word run wrong. That might be helpful, would not it? So running this, we could then obtain uh, a whole bunch of data. Right? This gives us the size of our, the number of entries of our data, the mean standard deviations, sample standard deviation skewness, uncorrected SS, coefficient of variation, some weights, some observations, so on and so forth. And we have some more st uh, statistical measures involving location and variability. So again, center and spread. We have a t-test, but we will talk about that later on. The same thing with the sign and sign rank. We have a whole bunch of quartiles which is also helpful. We have extreme observations on the low to high end. And here's our histogram, which as you can see, could pretty accurately describe potentially a normal distribution. So approximate that. And if we did the same thing for the high lead level group, this one did not give me a histogram for that. So let me specify a histogram for the high, high lead level group. So again, we have the low level one and the high level ones down here. This one looks nowhere near normally distributed. All right. So we had done that same as that thing with this code, but added into it the high lead level. Now we could also include a title on this. And the way that we would include that title is, well, the word title followed by quotation marks. And of course, what a semicolon there at the end. So, for example, this would be the uh, IQ scores for students exposed to lead. And then again, the same code that we just used to plot both histograms. So if I put above this title, this was IQ scores for students exposed to what? 
and click and run on this. It will put our title here at the top, and then put, and then proceed to give us all of those values that it calculates our histogram along with that title above it, and the same thing for the high level one as well. And we could also superimpose a normal curve over the histogram as well. How are we going to do that? If I add into my code for the two histograms that we just did, but include a small little snippet here at the end, this is going to have a backslash and then normal. Doing that will then superimpose that normal distribution over our histograms, which could potentially be useful for comparisons for us to determine is this normally distributed, which is something like this, right? There, there is some variation, but it looks approximately normal. Uh, for the second one, though, this looks nowhere near normal. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.